Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Thursday. I have Willow's bag of treats. He's like, please, please, Mom, come down to the barn. I need to work with my mare. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What's the rule? What? No working with mares until what? Do you have music on? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Aww. She's teaching her to spin the other way. Can you turn off your music so I can? What? I brought you treats. Sophie says she's out of treats. These are apple chunks. Apple chunk treats, Willow. So uh, good at morning. Can you clean it? I'm working with Welcome to today. I'm not cleaning it. I clean the arena every single day. Whoever's the first one down here should clean the arena. I feel like. I did it yesterday, so you should do it today. Go, hurry up. Go quick, quick. Do it now, sister. Anyway, welcome to today. I was out working with the chickens this morning, giving them food and water. You guys know I'm lazy. No, just joking. I'm a really active person, really busy person. Today, I have been, literally, we've been on this mission this last week to clean our house, like actually clean our house. I've said it before, in summer when we're busy and we're out there and we're doing so much, I don't clean inside as much things get piled up and and then in the spring and in the fall i end up doing this big huge massive clean and i feel fall in the air you guys i feel it so um today we've been just like getting stuff clean oh look who's here hi uh we're gonna ride our horses in a little while like a couple hours will you film for me maybe 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 he will look how tall he is oh you're gonna fix the door yeah fix that. oh i love it I love a working man. Like men who come and do work that I want done makes me so happy. So, wow, I already did it. So you guys know, I showed you guys recently, I think, that this gate, he hung, when he hung it, he hung it so low that when you close it, it has to drag on the ground and then it just kind of got worse and worse over time. So he's going to raise it so we can just swing it. And then he's going to put this one up so that we can open and close it too because like he's been saying he wants to get this area of the barn cleaned up so today as that they're doing work with the chickens there's ruby here and um like some of them gotta go <laughs> some of them gotta go like once winter gets here and we have too many chickens like i don't want too many chickens so i'm like i like six chickens maybe so anyway i took pictures of the chickens that we don't aren't gonna keep i'm gonna give them to brandon or give them to our friends or sad though like chickens are fun they're easy but in winter I don't want to have too many chickens so that's what I'm gonna do I dare you to teach Penny to spin uh-oh Penny be nice <laughs> so I've been trapped in the barn every day for days you guys <laughs> every day for day. Oh, Penny's like, whoa, watch out, Sophie. Apparently, we didn't tell the horses we would be drilling. <laughs> Willow doesn't care, though. <laughs> All right, it's almost time. It's almost time to see if the fence, if the gate works. I'm so excited for this. So one of the big reasons that we don't um, work with horses like one-on-one -on -one when we're trying to teach them stuff, typically, is because we can't ever close that gate. If we could just shoo a couple of horses outside and bring them in and work out with them one on one, it'd be so much better. There are literally flies in the barn today, like a lot of flies. This is the bad part of the season. But anyways, um, okay, you guys, don't judge. <laughs> Sophie's trying to teach Willow to go up. And we know that this isn't the way that you're supposed to do it. How did you learn to do it this way? my own brain so she decided to do it this way i think she needs to add like her crop so that she can cue her to go up okay she's like get away from the ponies well, oh look at her up. her halter is her halter done up yeah yeah it's all done up all right somebody said that you guys didn't do up the halters again last time when i worked with her i did the halter okay just double check in you guys should know i definitely tell them to do those halters up because i always do my halter up Sophie's just trying to show her like how to rise up to rear. She wants to teach her to rear. So all she, she knows how to rear, but she doesn't know what I'm asking. So this yeah. Is so anyway, me. she's just like this is what she thought of to help her to get up. So watch. She already knows. Sophie. She lifts her leg up for Sophie, and then Sophie tells her up, and she jumps halfway up. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. Get away, you girls. This is my mom. <laughs> all 
our horses are so funny. I need to get back in the game and start teaching Penny some fun stuff. Oh, yes, I follow her and do a bunch of stuff on her pony, Minnie. And I love it, so why not do this? And you got to put your right shoes on. So people... Oh. Sophie, no more, especially doing that, you need your proper shoes on. It also reminds me that you guys know that we don't always wear the proper shoes when we're around the horses. We're always like so super careful when we don't have the proper shoes. The reason that I don't wear proper shoes around horses only in summer is because I can't wear socks in summer. Like I literally get, like it makes me feel sick. Like I cannot handle the sensation of socks and the heat and in summer. So I don't wear them and there's nothing else that I can just slip on that doesn't get all stinky and disgusting in summer. But if I were going to be working with horses, I would either stay out of their way and stay safe or I would make sure I had the proper foot footwear on. So like the other day when we were hiding from Chance, when he was running and stuff, it wasn't that we were like so afraid that he was gonna run us down. It was that we did not have proper shoes on. Like we didn't wanna be in an area with him while he was running and acting crazy because we would have been putting our feet at risk because he was running around. Like we didn't want to get accidentally stepped on. I should have like t said that and made it clear. I just assumed people would, would, I don't know why I assumed people would understand that. Unless you say it, how would people know? <laughs> we just looked like we were afraid of the horse. <laughs> Molly did not come down with me today. Only Ruby came down today. The dogs just kind of do what they want. They go, whichever ones want to go, go. Molly's probably with Gabby. It looks like it's going to rain, so I'm going to go get my proper socks and shoes on you guys socks and shoes on so I can ride my horse it's beautiful out here I'm so glad we waited till today I'm excited there was a raindrop on my phone oh there's a raindrop you know you can ride in rain you just can't ride like in thunder and lightning crappy it actually is starting to rain that's so annoying yesterday was so hot and then we waited too long today you want to go for a ride pen let's ask her you want to go for a ride it's your turn. Do you guys know that our horses know who their owner is and who works with them? And they stay away if it's not their their owner. You wanna go? <laughs> My guess is, she says no. <laughs> Gracie's like, oh, go! Sophie did not clean up the poo very good. Penny, please. <laughs> Come on. I have it behind my back. Well, hi. She's like, I see it there behind your back. Gracie's like, pick me. I can't ride you or I would pick you. Because you're a sweet girl. All right. This is going nowhere fast. We're just lunging ourselves around the arena. <laughs> Look at how smart she is. All right. Let's take this way around. Do, 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 do. Pretend we're not saying anything. We're doing anything. I'm not coming for you, Penny. Hi. <laughs> How about now? You ready now? Her ears. And then sometimes she just gets mad and shoves her face in there. When she's like, fine. Do you see her? She jerks her head. Is it raining a lot? Yeah, let's go. Uh-oh, I hear it. Crappy. What the heck? What should we do? All right, let's go. As long as it's not thundering, we can ride in the rain. Gracie's like, my girl is here. I'll go with her. I'm sorry, Gracie. Now we have two dogs in the arena. One, two, one that's tired. She not feeling fresh? No. No, not fresh. All right. You ready? She's like, oh no, not this. <laughs> yeah? I literally have indigestion from putting my shoes on. The troubles of being a geriatric rider. All right. First time we're gonna use the new reins. You ready to try it? She's like, yes. Right, we're ready. She knows like, I'll just have a couple last minute bites. Do you hear the ponies? But Penny doesn't care. She's like, I'm going with my man. Ponies are going into the stalls. <laughs> Gracie's like, I'm going with them. <laughs> I really wanna take Gracie. We are actually taking the ponies someplace soon. Are you going? Yeah. So this is gonna be our maiden voyage with these clipped reins. They're kind of short, but I like shorter reins. I hate reins that like, I like these because they're small and I can manage them well. I swear it got hotter. I swear it's hotter. I don't know where we're gonna go. If we're gonna go on the road, I'm following Gabby. All right, Chino Bambino, you're leading. That means you gotta move fast because my girl <laughs> likes to go fast. All right, all right, we're going. 
Penny's like, don't forget. Good girl. Sit on your seat bones. Yeah. Good girl. No. She just did a pretend buck. And the reason she did it is because I told her to move over. So we're going to try and walk behind. Whoa. She's trying to buck me off. So I have to put the camera away. And there they go. Laura's in lead. Her horse was cruising a second ago and I missed it. It's going pretty fast. on a new trail and every time I I'm trying to teach Penny today she has to go behind and she doesn't want to she's like mad at me so we've just fought this whole entire time my last ride with Penny was incredible the minute I relax in the saddle she gets crazy but we're here we're about here I want her to be calm and go slow when we're going someplace new. But I think she's like a bit herd bound and mad. She's mad today. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down this pool of heart tonight.
All right, so this was not a good ride, but you know, sometimes you have good rides and sometimes you have bad rides. Ended on a good note because we kept going. We went in totally different areas that we've never been before. And she was throwing a fit the first five minutes. And for some reason, my stirrup is bothering my ankle a lot. Uh-oh, this could get dicey. <laughs> Gabby trots and my horse stops. <laughs> yeah, Gabby, you should ride him a little in here. Just a waste of time But yeah, like that's just funny. I, I love that. And because you know what? She never used to do that. If a horse was running or trotting or whatever, she used to freak right out. And now she's such a good girl. Anyway, the big problem that I have with Penny that I've not ever like trained out of her is that Penny knows what Penny wants and Penny knows what to do. And if you want to do something different than she wants to do, she will fight you for it. But when she fights you, it's not bad. So that's why like, it's hard for me to, I was strong. I didn't let her do whatever she wanted. I fought with her and made her listen. She pretended bucked me so many times. Like that's what, I, what she does. Like she's so lazy that, she, and she's not a lazy horse, but she's so like not adventure. Well, she is an adventurous horse. I don't know how to say it, but she's so like, wants to tell me she's unhappy and so she tries to buck me and all she does is tip her head forward and like do it like you wouldn't even notice it like but I can feel it I can feel when she is like oh, I will buck you but she doesn't ever buck me so she did a lot of that in the first five minutes huh yeah I see people oh look at the saddle like after I've ridden it's still like nice lots of space up there I'm, I'm glad to see that um so do you guys know that some people, when they get off like a Western saddle, they stand in that stirrup and they look so nice. And I've never been taught to do it that way. I've always been taught to put a little bit of weight in that stirrup, swing my body around. I do it on, I do it where it doesn't look nice. <laughs> I want to learn to dismount more beautifully. I love him. Don't you know that you're beautiful?